Jonathan Gavoni. We're here with Jake Wiley at the Portsmouth Invitational Tournament. Uh, just finished up the uh, the event here. Jake, uh, how'd this go for you? How was Portsmouth? Oh, it was a blast. Um, you know, I just felt fortunate to be able to play here. Um, you know, just a few weeks ago, I wasn't sure if, if I'd be able to come here. So uh, just wanted to come here, play hard, and, um, you know, contribute. And I was able to do that, and I felt like coming here, uh, you know, it helped my game and um, really kind of expanded my basketball awareness, I guess you can say. Uh, I was exposed to a lot here. It was a good experience. There's a lot of really good buzz in the gym here about you the last few days. People were very impressed with your energy and your athleticism and your, your team spirit. Um, is that kind of what you came out here to, to show? You know, my main focus coming here was to play hard. And, uh, you know, I thought I did that. I thought people uh, recognized that. And um, whatever else happened, you know, happened. But uh, my, main, my main and only focus really was just play hard and let everything else take care of itself. Tell me a little bit about your background. Your, your, your story is kind of unique. I was reading up on it during the game. Um, what can you tell us for people who, who aren't familiar with you? Well, you know, I bounced around a couple schools, started my career at uh, University of Montana, uh, played multiple sports while I was there, ran track, played a little football. Then uh, transferred to an NAI school in uh, Idaho, Lewis Clark State College, played uh, two years there, had a great two years, was, you know, All-American and uh, just decided I want to play Division One basketball again. So grad transferred, went to Eastern Washington, and uh, had a great season there. And uh, now I'm here. That's pretty much a, uh, in a nutshell, I guess. Yeah. What do you think it means? The fact that you know a guy who was playing in the NIA last year was able to come here and be one one of the most productive players at this entire event, going up against you know guys from Kentucky and Duke and all the biggest schools were out here. You know, I just put trust in my work ethic. Uh, I worked really hard all season and um, really hard leading up to this event uh, to be prepared. So I felt like, you know, I was in a, a good position to be successful and just leave it all out on the court. And, um, you know, I feel like when you do that, good things happen, and they did. So, Tell us about yourself as a, as a player. When you're out there and playing your best, what are some of the things you're doing out there? You know, just making hustle plays, and uh, that's what gets me going. Um, and that's what gives me confidence. Gets gets me in a, a rhythm offensively. Uh, you know, interesting enough is when I make plays on the defensive end, or um, you know, diving on the ground, blocking a shot, or something. That's what gets me going. And so uh, I think my strengths are just just making the hustle plays. And in terms of what you need to improve on to take your game to the next level, to be able to play as a pro, what are some of the things you need to work on? I think obviously my three-point shot, um, you know, that's something that I wasn't really uh, asked to do too much during my senior season. Played primarily inside and, uh, you know, learned how to do that. And now the transition is improve my jump shot and just overall perimeter skills. I was watching you from the free throw line. You have really nice touch. I saw you made 80% of your free throws this year. I mean, obviously, there's nothing broken there mechanically. I mean, it's hard when you see a guy who shot 50% from the line, you can't really project him to being a three-point shooter. But do you think that that's something that is realistic for you? How much have you worked on that and how much is still in store? Uh, you know, it's it's been pretty much 80% of what I've been working on right now uh, after my season was over. I felt like... Um, you know, I played inside all year. There's no need to focus on that after the season. You know, you want to always work on your weaknesses or perceived weaknesses. But, um, you know, even during the season, I think I went five for seven from three. So, you know, small sample size. But, uh, it's, you know, in my opinion, it's not broken. It's just something that you got you to gotta tune in on. So, Where does your energy and intensity, where, where does that come from for you? You know, like we kind of mentioned earlier, I was playing NAIA two years ago. And, um even at the NEIA, I brought that intensity. It's just my love for the game. And uh, to go from there to playing here, I just feel like uh, it's a great opportunity. And I didn't want to waste it and just leave it all out there, man. I just want to make the most of all my opportunities. What has the feedback been from the NBA guys? And what are the next two and a half months going to look like for you? Uh, you know, the feedback's been great. Um, I think everybody uh, you know, has kind of a, a respect and interest in just just my energy you know they they say that uh that's that's a skill and um you know i really take a lot of pride in that and uh it's very very pleased that they recognize that but uh that's been the main consensus is hey we like how you play you play hard you bring energy you make hustle plays and uh that's something that a lot of guys aren't willing to do so. anyone in the nba that you really enjoy watching play 
uh, you know, Draymond Green is somebody who I try to always watch. Um, you know, just he brings that same mentality to the game. You know, he's he's a, he's a dog out there. He plays defense, makes great decisions on offense, does everything you know his team needs him to do, and um, you know he's a winning player. So, thanks so much, and appreciate it. Hey, thank you, man. I really appreciate it, man. <laughs>